Hello and welcome to my latest PPSS PP video. So today we're going to be having a look at five really good puzzle games that you can run on the uh, PPSS PP emulator. So this is emulating the original Sony PlayStation from back in the day. And uh, my hardware is a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And I'm using the iPega Red Knight controller which is one that I really like. So this first game that we're looking at is called Loo Mines, and this was perhaps the big puzzle hit for the, uh, for the PSP when it first got released. And it's a bit of a take on uh, Tetris, and it was famous for having a really rocking soundtrack, which gets progressively faster. And the aim of the game is to get like four, four blocks of the same color in a row, and that will then destroy the block. There we are. So it's a bit like Tetris, but it's the PlayStation Portable's version of it. And already things have picked up a little bit. Certainly my... Uh, wife when i first had my original psp this is one of the games i had for it and it was absolutely stonking and she became very addicted to it i hardly got a look in <laughs> it did spawn a sequel as well blue mines 2 and it's one of those games that you just want to have one more go of And there's lots of different modes as well. This is just the most basic one because I haven't played it in so long. But there's loads for you to get your teeth stuck into. And that's Lupines. So the next game we're going to look at is uh, Little Big Planet. That's the little sack boy guy there. The narrator you can hear is uh, Mr. Stephen Fry. Very, very good fun, this. A short, sharp stab for a modest hop. Or a hard, lingering press for a big boy bouncy bound. Fly, my pretty one. So that's your character there, that little, little sack boy. And you have to work your way through multiple levels on this. And it is a puzzler. Because it's not like your average platformer. You do actually have to figure out how to get through some of these levels. But it's got a charm all of its own. And is absolutely fantastic and gorgeous to look at. You could easily get lost with Little Big Planet because it's such a great game. Great for all ages. And you get to customize your guy, and then you start going through different levels. Really, really great. And here we are. This is the customization bit. So, uh, there we are. I've I fast forwarded through the customization option. Just so you can get a grip for the uh, the actual world here. Now on the face of it, your average sack boy is an emotion. <laughs> In Little Big Planet. Anyway. That's Little Big Planet. Let's get on to the next one. So this is the next one, which is Lemmings. As you can imagine, this is uh, one of those games that once again is on lots of systems. Uh, the PSP version of Lemmings is good. And I'm sure you, everyone here knows the uh, 
the premise of lemmings. And this nice wide screen. is great for playing something like lemmings. There weren't quite as many puzzle games released on the PSP as you might think, but it certainly got its share of original ones, and that's cool, you know? So this one's called Exit. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. And this is quite a novel little um, puzzler, this one. Um, it's sort of comic book style. And it does tell a story, but you have to sort of uh, figure it out as you go along. So as you can see, there's a hundred levels there. So, it will show you the steps. So it's just your training level. And as you can see, it's very much sort of comic book style. And you have to figure out exactly how to get through each level. Hence the name Exit. The game was a big success and it got released on the Switch recently as well. So in the last year or so. So if you do fancy the look of this one, and believe me, it gets much, much harder as you go along, then I suggest you give it a try. Let's go. And that's called Exit. Now this is Archer McLean's Mercury. So the way this works, you control a blob of mercury, as you can see on the screen there. And you uh, have to glide. It's a bit like Marble Madness, if you ever played that, where you glide, you guide a marble around a maze. With this one, you have to get a blob of mercury around a maze. And I've got to admit, this really, really captured the imagination back in the day. And I absolutely loved it, I have to say. So we'll just have a quick look at the tutorial. Then I'll maybe go forward a couple of levels and uh, show you what some of the later ones are going to be like. So it's just explaining that you need to get your blob of mercury to the target, to the target base. So you need a little bit of momentum. And I used to find when I played this game, I'd be, um, I'd be twisted in the PSP all over the place. Um, a bit like when um, I play the PSP snooker game, uh, World Championship Snooker, which although I'm not going to show it on this video, that is really, really good. It's one of the best um, snooker sims I've ever played. Now, um, 
Oh, I don't really remember how to do this one. Um, so we, oh, I've lost a bit of my, that's it. So I did it. So you had to combine the colors on that one. And that made the silver mercury. So use the yellow paint shop to get through the yellow filter and activate the beacon. Cool. Oh, this game is so good, I have to say. Ah, now I'm on some elevator system here. So I need to go through. There we are. I've gone through the yellow paint thing. I should be able to get through the yellow gate now. There we are. And that 93%, that's how much of my mercury made it to the finish line. And there's, uh, there's a lot of levels on this. I think there's about 80 levels, something like that. And then they did follow it up with mercury meltdown, which was the same, same sort of thing. Okay, so let's have a look at this one then. I think it said I had to get on the pressure switch here. There we are. Doing pretty good. I'll show you one more level. But if you have enjoyed these puzzles, puzzle games for your PSP, using the PPSS PP emulator, I have done a few other videos for the PSP aficionado. And uh, I will pop a link to my playlist so you can have a look at it at your leisure. But I've done um, oh, PSP fighting games. I've done PSP racing games. This is PSP puzzlers. And I've got lots more planned as well. So if you have enjoyed this video, do please give it a thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular PPSS PP content. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.